hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel excel vba expert in today's video we are going to learn how we can insert the default signature in outlook using vba so whenever we create any mailer in uh, excel through vba so the major issues you know most of the user found that okay when it, they face you know the people actually face a lot of problems you know while inserting uh, the signature the original signature which we have set in our outlook for example in my case if i will create if i will click on this create email so what do you guys see now this is the you know the email this is the test email you know it has created but this is without signature i want the signature as well which is my this is the original signature okay in outlook but we have what i have actually set so i want the signature should automatically come okay if one time two times three times and multiple times if i'm trying to generating any mail through vba this signature should come up right how how that can be happen how that can be happen so that is what actually we are gonna learn in today's video how we can do that first we'll go to the outlook you know you need to do one thing manual only one time press ctrl n okay create the new email so you need to go in the signature all right here you need to do here you guys can see on top right side the new message and replies forward it means whenever you're creating new message it is none it means there is no signature if okay next time we are gonna do some setting here right if i will click on this akash all right and in the replies forward if i will click on this akash right so what will happen what will happen it will help us it will help us you know uh, it will help us to to get the signature by default whenever we are whenever we are creating any new email whenever we are replying to anyone whenever we are forwarding the mail to anyone the signature will automatically come up right so click on ok that is what actually you need to do manual let's try if i am pressing ctrl n the signature is coming right now we have set it now how we can do that how we can you know get it how we can get it you know uh, how we can set it you know through through vba right so now let's insert the new module and let's start to write the code here i am writing option explicit the procedure mailer for example right you need to go in the tools you need to enable the external library which is the outlook microsoft outlook 16.0 object library which i already have enabled right you need to you need to write the code what is new outlook me outlook application uml as outlook mail item dim case integer for example i want to create this email i want to create i want to create four five for example three emails only right now let's start with oml right and with what do you need to do you need to set it here set oml ot dot create you know this mail item that's it in two in two i in a6 a6 should be picked up right so range a6 dot value cc should be range b6 dot value dot subject will be range c range c6 should be pick up right okay now the very important thing the mail body okay so you need to write dot html then again you need to write here what you need what do you need to write here in beard say hi all all right what we need to write we need to write in whatever the whatever i have written in the d6 that's what now i want to print our range d6 dot value all right what next we need to do we need to now put the signature all right what we need to do we need to put the signature how we can do that simple dot html body all right that's it this is the code you need to write dot display next right that's it okay without to without loop first let's try i'm you know disabling the loop line 
now let's run it one by one i'm pressing f8 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 now you see nothing is coming nothing is coming right what is the problem now let's see control n signature is coming but we are not getting but we are not getting that right but we are not getting we are not getting we need to write here dot body now let's let's now run f8 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 on the display still we are not getting anything right why dot body dot html and dot html value right whatever the value we have all right we we have written we have written here as well this should work this should work hmm. now let's try once once again F8, 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 Let's display it first. Okay. We need to display it first. Now let's run. Because we are a... Okay. Now let's... Alright, alright, alright. Yeah. We need to display it first. Then we will be... If, then we will be able to get the signature. Okay. Now, now for example, I am, you know, gonna put it in the loop so that we can create so we can have you know three emails so now directly i am pressing f5 now you see the three emails now i have one two three in all these three i have my original signature what i have actually you know set in my outlook so the what all you need to do guys you need to first set the signature manual and after that you need to write this line very very carefully okay or you will be you will have to be very careful that you need to display the email the mail first okay then you will be able to you know append the signature because the signature is auto automatically coming right so that signature is now storing in the dot html body which we have already you know got when uh, when this code is on in when this code is creating a empty email right in that we have a signature that signature actually we have stored in this dot html body okay that which we are appending at the last or after returning everything right whatever we wanted to return so this is how we guys you know can achieve this requirement and you know this is the best way according to me to get and to set the signature okay by default and uh, we can we can we can do it you know we can do it in a very few line of a code few line of a vba code okay which will help us a lot you know it actually saves a lot of time okay sometimes we need to write we need to create a signature manually that actually takes little that takes you know the time but according to me if the things can be happen in the simple way so this should do that right so this is a simple way okay apart from that there are there are alternate way there are alternate ways as well okay to inserting the signature right so i hope guys you have liked this video okay this code i would attach and i would attach this file okay in the description box from there you guys can download it right so for the time being let's say thanks to everyone okay for watching the video let's meet in the next video with a new topic thanks a lot guys